first up tonight, two major stories involving guns in movie theaters. On the same day, a judge decides Curtis Reeves will stand trial for murder in a Wesley Chapel movie theater shooting. Another moviegoer with a concealed carry permit accidentally shoots himself in the bathroom. That accidental shooting took place inside the AMC Woodlands 20 Theater in Oldsmar. Chip Osowski is there tonight, and Chip, it's enough to make you wonder, who is this person sitting beside me in the theater, and should I be concerned that he or she may be packing heat? Well, you're absolutely right, Keith. But th times certainly have changed. Back in the day, three words that were associated with movie theaters were enjoy the show. Now some believe those three words should be watch your back. Friday night at AMC Woodlands 20, a popular movie night for people of all ages, most patrons not realizing that hours earlier, Pinellas County Sheriff's deputies were investigating a shooting here, albeit an accidental shooting where a concealed carry permit holder tried holstering his gun in a bathroom when it went off wounding him. It's another case involving a gun in a movie house. As you might imagine, some moviegoers feel this is an accident and is not a concern. I just came in, enjoyed the movie, and, um, and I did enjoy the movie. I do pay attention for the exits, but I, not for anything other than someone maybe yelling fire or, you know, just a, a fight or something like that. Others are taking note. Who knows who's armed and who's not? How quickly can you get out if there is a problem? High-profile cases like Curtis Reeves, the retired Tampa police captain who shot and killed another patron after an argument in a Wesley Chapel theater. And what about the mass shooting in Aurora, Colorado? These cases do cross the minds of many. And I do find myself looking around, where's the exit, where, um, who's, who's sitting next to me. Like retired police detective oh, really? Stephen yeah. Garner. You yeah. should be able to go to the movies or go to the mall or do anything um, in this society without fearing for getting shot. And authorities identified the man involved in this accidental shooting as 26-year-old Nathan Schrage. He accidentally shot himself in the hand. Paramedics rushed him to Tampa General Hospital. His injuries not considered to be life-threatening. Well, Chip, as we mentioned, this guy had a concealed carry permit, but you were also telling me early, earlier that AMC has a policy against bringing guns into their theaters. Absolutely, Keith, and I did check, and they do have signs on the front doors that say no weapons allowed, and although no one with AMC, the theater chain, returned my phone calls this evening, I did check online, and they do have a no weapons policy for the entire theater chain. Chip Osowski, live in Oldsmar tonight. Thank you, Chip.